was uh, the same guy who played Darth Maul. Didn't know that, huh? Yeah, Ray Parker. Got it all Junior. over his car, dude. That's, well, that's sad. Now he's now you're gonna make him go home and look at his wife and realize he's made horrible mistakes. Yeah, and then so I'll do what I'll do. Uh, my extra pass. I'm just some random dude. <coughs> all right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to stop and get copies of a door key because apparently everyone else. I don't. I'm not bragging at all. I might be the most responsible person at my job. Because I don't lose important shit. I don't lose shit at all. But I really don't lose important shit. And um, when you need a key to get into a door of a warehouse. And three of the four people that have keys lose them. The fourth person being me. Um, and I actually don't lose my shit. And I keep keys in a safe place that are important. Uh, yeah, you end up being the one that, has to, that gets stuck having to go fucking get copies for every other asshole out there. So... That's what I had to do. Sorry. Anyway, back with part two of the morning glory. Um, yeah, I always find that funny. What up? What up, Jay? Um, anyway, so we were talking about uh, what we were talking about. When we took off here. Oh, here we go. The police is hanging out on the side of the fucking road. I don't know why he's hanging out there. I don't like the cops. I don't. You know what? I, I know a few. I actually know two. I know two cops personally, right? Uh, one is a friend of mine that's a cop, and the other one is, uh, I used to get in trouble a little bit when I was a kid, and uh, he was a good dude. He helped me out. Um, so I know two really good cops, they're both still on the force. Um, and uh, so I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not one of those people that's gonna be like, oh, cops are fucking evil, blah, 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 whatever the fuck. But uh, I saw a video on, on Facebook, I haven't done, I've done zero research on it, that bus is going fast. And it's full of kids, too. That's the, uh, the bad part. Um, huh. But uh, I saw a video a couple days ago on Facebook, or yesterday, actually, where this black dude was like literally on hands and knees. There's no threat whatsoever. And this one cop just fucking kicks him right in the face, right in the head, and knocks him the hell out. Black dude just drops face first on the ground. And like, you're trying, you know, I'm sitting there going, why the fuck did he kick him? This shit was over. Just cop him and move on. So who the fuck knows the backstory to that shit, but... Um, police, man. The bad cops are giving all cops bad fucking reps. I'm not one of those people who's going to tell you all cops are bad. But I will tell you, I, I never, that cops make me nervous. Because I don't know who, you know, you never, you can't pick out which cops are good and which cops are bad anymore. Um, or you actually never could. You always just assumed they were all good. And uh, now, now you can't, you can't do that shit. So it's kind of, uh, it's fucked up. Um... And shit, everyone's got a local story of, of, a, of, a, of a dirty cop, or, you know, a cop, not dirty cop, but overzealous cop that makes a mistake, or a, a cop that thinks he's a fucking cowboy and shoots somebody, kills somebody, something like that. Um, uh, in fact, I think, Jay, you were talking about, you know, you, 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 you're near the Fruitvale Station spot, so um, you know all about that shit. Um, speaking of Fruitvale Station, Michael B. Jordan, if you haven't seen Creed yet, go see it. It's, it's a great fucking film. It's a great movie. Um... Yeah, go check it out. It's a good fucking movie, man. The whole thing's just good. I want to go watch it again. Uh, maybe this weekend. I don't know if I have time. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try and watch it again this weekend. Um, back to MMA stuff, man. Um, tonight's fight's here. We were talking, I was talking yesterday with Nick on In the Pocket. We are talking about who's going to win between Rose and Paige. Um, he argues that Paige should win because of all the uh, uh, other pressure, right? We saw Rose uh, you know, break under pressure, under Carlos Barthes' pressure. And get finished. And he argues that Paige is going to bring that kind of pressure onto Rose. I think Rose has grown since then. She'll be able to get a sub finish of some sort against uh, Paige if she goes to the ground. Um, hmm. So it's uh, it'll be really interesting to see the fight. Uh, I like you know what I noticed about Rose. Hey, how you doing? Um, you know what I what I what I what I noticed about Rose at the weigh is that she put on a little bit of muscle. Her arms are a little bigger. She looks a little stronger. I'm not sure. If it's, you know, to be using the ground game, I'm not sure she's trying to, uh, um, you know, to, to, to hit Paige harder or, or you know, try to catch that. She, she beat Hill and not JJ. Um, yeah, you're talking about Rose? Yeah, she did beat Hill. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see, man. Um, I want to see, uh, I want to see, you know, what Rose does with the extra strength that she looks like she has now. Like I said, she looks stronger. She looks a little more built. Um, even, you know, even while, even when she, you know, with uh, the weight cut and all that shit, 
Um, looks like the weight cut didn't get her too bad, which is good. And uh, um, Paige, for some reason, I had a feeling it, to me it looked like Paige was hurting a little bit, but I think that's just you know that's just kind of how she looks every time she weighs in. Um, yeah. So, and then uh, the uh, what was the other fight that I was looking at there? Fucking Doomsday. Who's Doomsday fighting? Uh, is John Howard and uh, Tim Means? Thank you. God. Any straw weight looks good against Hill. Any straw weight looks good against Hill and Angela Magana. And, and probably Emily Kagan, too. <laughs> Tonight, we'll find out. Um, uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. John Howard against against Tim Means is going to be a good fight. Tim Means just moves forward, doesn't stop. John Howard hits hard and gasses out. So, I got I think I picked Tim Means in that fight for the fact that Tim Means is a, you know, the dirty bird is just, uh, he's a weirdo, but, you know, the dude can, can throw down. Um... And I think John Howard's going to gas out if he doesn't catch him in the first couple rounds with a big bomb. Um, you know, and, and Tim Means, like I said, is a zombie. Just walks forward and stop walking. So, it's, uh, I think that, that's how that fight's going to go. Um, so, I think, uh, I think it was Joker talking about Connor at the, at the, at the, uh, at the, at the 194 press conference. Um, that's interesting to see. You know, it, it's an interesting thing to see Connor not say a word. Like, he, he didn't say anything derogatory. He didn't get excited, nothing. He called it that he was in, in a state of zen. He was calm, cool, and collected, whatever. Um, everybody on that table was weight cutting. Please believe that. Everybody on that table was cutting weight. Everybody. Um, you know, Connor and Joseph for sure are, are cut, you know, cut weight, start cut weight already. Um, uh, Weidman and Rockhold for sure cutting weight already. Here's the thing: Rockhold looked pissed off and annoyed and all that shit, which is the symptoms of weight cut. Well, you know, cutting cutting weight and being a little bitch, but also cutting weight. And uh, Weidman did not look bad at all. He was relaxed. He was calm. He was just cool, whatever. Was hanging out. Connor and Aldo are both being pretty quiet. They're both nervous. Oh, for sure, they both know they're gonna have. Uh, there's gonna be a monster fight. Um, you know, Kagan beat your girl. Hell no. Hell no, Kaylin Kern's gonna win this fight decision. But she's gonna win, all right? Don't hate. All right, and wait till my girl Alexa Grasso makes it to the UFC. God damn. I wanna see her get in there and start boxing some chicks. Um, then get taken down and see what the fuck happens, right? But uh, uh, but actually, give Grasso Angela Magana. Give her an easy fight to get in. Um, fucking, uh, yeah, you know what, Connor? All the all those gotta be wary of Connor's, you know, the angles, the mind, you know, obviously the, the mental game, right? The angles, the movement, all that stuff. Connor's gotta be thinking about all those kicks in his ground game for sure. They're both nervous as fuck. All right, Connor won't say nothing. You know, it, it, to me, it looked like Connor was kind of like, oh shit, he actually showed. Damn. All right, now I gotta try and back up all that shit I said. Some bitch. Because remember when when Chad Mendes stepped in on two weeks' notice. He was all talking all kinds of stuff at the presser, right, before the fight. Um, and uh, now he wasn't saying shit. So it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's I, I can't wait to see the fight. All right. We're finally almost here, okay. Tomorrow is weighing for 194. Tonight is weighing for, for Edgar Mendes. Tonight is, you know, fight night 80. Uh, Rose and Paige. It's, 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 the, it's, we, it's here. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. UFC Super Weekend is here. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing a live chat or like a what do we call it, fight companion yet. Um, I gotta figure that out, and then in the next few hours at least, and get notices out and all that shit, and plan things out. But um, if I don't do that, if we don't do that, I'm at least gonna do a periscope after every fight. He has been muted for sure. He's talking about uh, Conor being muted for sure, of course. Now he has to actually back up all the shit he said. So. And he was still trying to say some things yesterday. Here's what I found hilarious. Is Connor put together some things he was saying, you know, try to sound a little philosophical and shit and smarter than he really is. And uh, Rockhold tried to do similar and his just came out awkward. That shit was funny as fuck. Again, I like Luke Rockhold. He's a dick, but I like Luke Rockhold because he doesn't fake being nice about it, right? And he's a good fighter. Um, but he can't talk shit with shit. Oh, Jesus. He should have just given, gave, told DC to write him a script of shit to say and it would have been way better. Like, miles better than what Rockwell came up with yesterday. That was awful. And in the Embedded video, that was awful. Just that trash talk coming from him is just garbage. Jeez. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, awful. What, what did he say about Wyman? That was just really stupid. Um, 
He's just, he, he, he's, 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 he's not that good. He's slow, slow. I'm like, oh, jeez. You're making a meat hit. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> uh, Wyman's not that smart. Please don't, you know, don't, don't get it twisted. He's not that smart. He's a fucking meat head if I've ever seen one. But uh, Rockwell made him, made him sound really smart at the press conference. So, um, yeah. And then uh, DC probably did. Not the same. You know what? DC didn't give him shit to say. DC would be way better. All right, DC at least laughed about his own bullshit Photoshop. That shit was hilarious. I'm here outside of Albuquerque. Where they wouldn't let me in, John. And he fucking he fucking Photoshop from here up with JW, you know, John, uh, Jackson Winkle John logo above him in the building. That shit was funny. It was stupid, but it was funny. Um, you know, so I think DC would have held him a lot. Um, now all they got to do is get Kane to actually talk, like say words, like show that he speaks something. You know what I mean? Like, his, first of all, his Spanish is awful, all right? Um, it was just a tragedy to see him on the on, on tough Latin America. Aldo, you know what? Aldo needs to learn English, okay? Aldo don't talk trash. Aldo's honest with you. Aldo's just himself. And he, that dude does not talk trash, right? But if he spoke English, his appeal to the masses would be huge, all right? The number one pound for pound fighter, and he can relate to the English-speaking audience. Let's be real, okay? The biggest consumer of, of MMA, uh, at least the UFC, American, English speakers. Kane is worse than Aldo at talking, 100%. Um, I don't think I've ever heard Kane talk trash other than, you know, uh, speaking, oh yeah, speaking, uh, anything. Uh, again, Kane's not one of those guys that uh, that cares about about talking, about anything, about saying anything. You know what I mean? He just goes to work. This is what it is. But, um, you know, these days, the, 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 you know, if Rockhold knows this, and that's why he's kind of trying. The way you make money in the UFC is to is to sell fights, and that's to talk. You know, uh, you know, I, I, Chael kind of started it and shit. I mean, back in the day, Muhammad Ali got the same kind of treatment as uh, as McGregor did. It was you know, different times, a lot more racism. Uh, racism was a, a ton more blatant than it is now, um, and it's pretty bad now. All right, you, you know, you know I.E. Donald Trump. Yeah. Um, all these motherfuckers, Donald Trump is some crazy, and all these motherfuckers get brave and start talking shit, and uh, and you know the racism's flying everywhere now, again. Um, but uh, the Muhammad Ali thing, I mean, the people were calling him uppity and all this other shit. Reality check: Kane is beatable. Of course he is. He he got beat twice now, and he got massacred the last time. Um, he actually every time, both times he got beat. One he got knocked out, the other one he got choked out, and they were both first round finishes. In fact, one of them was like ten second finish. Some whatever JDS took to knock him the fuck out. No, Kane's always been beatable. It's just if you could, if you could beat him before he got on you. You know what I mean? If you could beat him before he got on you. Actually, no, Kane was a second round finish, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a second round finish against Verdum. Um, but it, it, Kane, if you can beat him before he gets the pressure on you, you win. And Verdum was able to do that. But on top of that, Verdum actually prepared for this fight because he's a professional. Kane was unprofessional as fuck in his last fight. Didn't bother preparing. He thought he just because his cardio was good. Or well, he thought his cardio was good, that it would it would hold up in, in, in a higher altitude, you know, just fine by going two weeks earlier. And he obviously that was stupid. Um, a little bit of arrogance there, right? Uh, overconfidence maybe, uh, lack of awareness of his own body and his own preparation. Um, but on top of that, he didn't prepare for the ground game either for for the jujitsu game. Uh, I don't know what what belt he has or what rank he has in jujitsu as far as Kane goes, but Verdun has always been a bad motherfucker on the ground. So the number one thing you should have been training is jujitsu. You know what I mean? Um, Cause yeah, go ahead, take Verdum down, have fun with that shit. Okay, I'm pretty sure the game plan was to stay standing, beat him up on the feet, and pressure him on the cage, and just beat him up on the cage. I, I really don't think that King wanted to take that dude down. So when he shot in for the takedown, what up, sweetheart? Why is she walking? She's too fine to be walking. It's bullshit. Um, <laughs> but uh, for real. Uh, but uh, when Kane tried to take him down and got caught in that guillotine, I was like, oh, you fucked up. Like, right when he got caught in the guillotine, I knew it was over. Breathing hard, no, you know, no car. And, and, and honestly, I was, I was really fucking upset about it. Because, I mean, that's, my, that's, my, that's one, of my, one of my favorite fighters, if not my favorite fighter. And he fucking just got submitted because his stupid ass didn't bother training. Or it seemed like it. He showed up unprepared. You know, good thing he didn't make any excuses for the most part, right? It just he just you know he explained when they asked him questions, did you prepare? Not really. I, should, I probably should have showed up earlier to get used to the altitude, and I didn't. Um, you know, so for some people will call it an excuse. I guess that's. A, I mean, they asked him the question, he just answered it. Um, you know, but he still, for the most part, he didn't make excuses for losing. 
Um, and now he's going to fight Verdum again in the rematch that I don't agree with. I don't think King should get that rematch. I don't think he deserves it. Um, but as far as money fights go, I mean, who else are you going to throw in that's going to make more money than, than Kane Verdum, really? Brazilian sauce. Hey, man, get, get Kane those tight dick pills. It'll help out. <laughs> um, oh, oh, my fucking nose is bothering me. I got allergies like a motherfucker. Uh, oh, what else we got here? Uh, well, uh, again, tonight's card, you, uh, it's a five pass card, complete five pass card, 100% five pass. Tomorrow, if FS1, we finally have the matchups for uh, Tough 22. I haven't seen them yet, but of course, for you know, for the whole show, for the whole, for the little you know, glass statue thingy, plaque, whatever the fuck they call it, um, it's gonna be Artem Labov against Ryan Hall, which is legit as fuck. Uh, both guys that lost early and had to, and came back. Uh, Artem knocked three dudes out. But, you know, Ryan Hall's not a bitch. It's going to be awesome to see. Um, unfortunate for Saul. Saul Rogers, who, who can't, apparently lied. So I want to hear the details on that. that that's going to be, I think, interesting to, 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 to hear about. Um, to my, yeah, so tomorrow night, FS1. Edgar Mendez, a fight no one's talking about. Nick made the point yesterday down in the pocket that, that has been under-promoted like a motherfucker. And it should be a good fight. Um, I don't think the UFC thinks it's going to be a good fight. I think the UFC thinks it's going to be a five-round decision. It's probably going to be... A five rounder if uh, if Amanda's don't gas out by the third, um, yeah. So uh, it's gonna be a, 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 a oh shit. Hold up, Paige Rose for real. What do you mean for real? Like, like is it a real fight? Yeah, it's a real fight. Rose is gonna win. Um, but Edgar Mendez has been underpromoted. That's gonna be a good fight too. I don't know why the fuck people are not. Are not uh. uh Rose, 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 Rose over Page. Rose over Page by submission. I think it's third round. Once they're all beat the fuck up, really, I do think so. Um, part of that's hope. So probably I like Rose. I'm a, I'm a Rose fan. Ever since I saw her to get that that flying arm bar. Mind you, she's four and two in her career. I think it's four and two. It's not a great record. Really isn't for uh, for for UFC, but again, straw weights is, is really really uh, it's a it's a very very new um, division. Um, winner's gonna get a title shot. That's, that's unfortunately for Paige and Rose. I don't think either girl beats beats jo, uh, Joanna. Um, no matter what Demetrius Johnson says about about Paige being able to beat Joanna, it's not happening. Um, I don't see it happening, Joanna. Been good. She's too dedicated. All she does, all that chick does, is the fuck. I'm getting music in my earphone. Can you guys hear that? Some kind of piano bullshit. Hang on. Oh, I know what it is. My fucking. I pressed the play button on my on my uh, earbuds here. There we go. Anyway. Um, oh, motherfucker. I think either way, but not a dominant performance by either. No, 100%. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be... Paige is not going to run over Rose, and I don't think Rose runs over Paige. Uh, I think Rose beats Paige, but I think she's going to run over, you know, just, just you know, beat the shit out of her, or, or even take her down and sub her right away. Um, I think Paige is going to make a mistake at some point and get subbed, though. Um, whether that's in the first, second, or third rounds, I don't, I don't know. Or, or it's fifth, but it's a five-round fight. It's a main event. That's right. So, uh, should be a five-round fight. Uh, but I think I think Paige I think Rose is right. Paige makes a lot of mistakes. She she really leaves herself out there. She's wild. Paige is pretty fucking wild. Um, she just comes forward. Some of her punches don't even make sense. Uh, she just wants to overwhelm chicks, and I just don't think Rose is gonna get overwhelmed this time. She got overwhelmed against Car- Carla. I get that. Um, but I think she's 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 got to have improved on that since you know since then. So it's uh, I, I'm really expecting Rose to be you know level headed, find a way to move, get out of that pressure. And then uh, once it gets to the ground, get that sub game going, get an arm bar, get a rear naked, um, and, uh, and and yeah, get that win, man. And then get the get to get another title shot to something against Joanna, and probably get knocked the fuck out. Um, yeah, but I think you know if, if Paige wins, Dana White's gonna be happy as fuck about it because then you know it's like the hot chick against the the bad you know the badass chick from Poland. Um, so you can't put that in the main event. Uh, as far as uh, pay-per-view goes, but uh, you could throw that at USC 200, you know. Um, although, I don't know how you do that if Ronda can't come back and fight home. That whole thing is messy. 
And I think, you know, Dana White's a fucking asshole for not letting, you know, home fight Tate. But he's protecting that, that rematch because he knows that's a big money rematch, home and R- Rousey. Um, so he's definitely trying to protect that fight for sure by not allowing home to fight uh, Tate, who, who, uh, who, you know, has a good style against Holly Holm because she knows how to double leg and take people down. Um, something that, that, that Rousey couldn't do or didn't bother trying to do. And then, um, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. I'm still, I'm still annoyed that Rousey hasn't changed camps or isn't going to change coaches or anything. That annoys the fuck out of me. I think she definitely should. Ronda will pull rank if she feels she's not ready. Yeah, I, I mean, you know what the problem is with that? The, the one thing I have to say about that, though, is that Ronda has been a company woman since day one. You know, if, if she said it before, she's done it before. Yeah, it's a big if, that's true. Um, but uh, Ronda's been a company woman since day one, man. I think if she, you know, if they ask her, you know, can you fight, she'll lie and say she can. Uh, obviously, if they ask her right now to fight, you know, in a month or two, she's going to be like, uh, no, motherfucker, my teeth are gone. You know, but if they go, hey, can you fight by UFC 200? She'll say, yeah, watch. She's just that fucking stubborn and that much of a company chick. She shouldn't. Um, but uh, I'm hoping she's smarter. I ho- hope you're right, Mike. I really hope she's going to be smarter and she's going to pull rank and be like, hey, look, I'm not ready. I ain't going to be ready in July. Just bottom line, UFC 200 is not for me. Um, you know? And then, then we're going to see some bullshit between Holly and, uh, and uh, UFC. This depends on what is in the contract. Oh, in the contract of Ronda and Holly for the fight. Yeah, there's a, a rematch clause. Yeah. Not really. She does what she thinks. Um, no, dude. She's always done that, though. Like, she's always been doing what she thinks as far as her own life. But if they, when Dana White calls, she makes that fight. You know, fucking, she, was supposed to, she wasn't supposed to fight Holly in Australia. That was supposed to be uh, Lawler Condit. Then I think Lawler got hurt or something. They moved that and they, they bump up. You know, Ronda Holly. You know, she does not exa- not everything UFC tells her to do. She still, you know, she still you know, has her own mind and everything. But I hope she changes that mindset or this, that approach, and she just fucking just like you said, pulls rank. But she thinks she would win exactly, exactly. So, like I said, now I hope it changes things now. Um, uh, whether it does or not, who knows? Uh, you know, she's not as as revealing as she was in that ESPN article. She, you, you really didn't get a, you know, a complete sense of her mindset and what she's thinking right now. And, um, and you really shouldn't. I, I really don't want to know what she's thinking right now. Um, I want her to go, literally, her and her story to go away for a while. I don't want to have to talk about Rhonda at all for the next like three, four, five months. Um, you know, because it really, she needs to be missed. Not, I, that, that's a hard word. I guess, I, I, it's the best word I can come up with right now. Uh, she needs to be missed. Um, you know, she needs to go away, recover, get better, train elsewhere, um, at least part-time. Um, you know, and she needs to do a few things before she's able to, to, uh, to come back and, and have her talk about her again and be a big story once again. I just don't want to talk about her or see her at all for the next four months at least. Um, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Not with TMZ Sports outside her fucking door every day. Um, oh, motherfucker. Hang on. Uh, short story here uh, my, my, uh, my younger brother works with me as well And uh, he likes really sick cars He has a, he has a Subaru w, a WRX STI But it's like modified To be a fucking race car And uh, he rarely brings it to work But he brought it today I think it's a fucking It's a beastly car He gave me a ride in it the day he bought it And uh, he drives like a psycho So we were going like 100 plus On, 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 on 45 miles per hour streets Um it was like 11 at night, so there was no one on him. But still, I was, just, I was looking around for the cops. I was like, yeah, we're about to get arrested. Or at least you are, motherfucker. Where are we? Look at this. Living in AZ, repping the U. What I could say. What can I say, my friend? Um, I've been a U fan since I was a kid. Uh, I, even though I did go to U of A. But you know, people were telling me, uh, ASU played U of A not too long ago in football. And ASU whooped that ass, apparently. And people were texting me like, oh, how do you feel now? Go, you know, go Devils. Woohoo, Devils. And I'm like... Oh, I, I literally I texted back. They played tonight. That like, you didn't watch? No. What the fuck? You went to U of A. You should be rooting for U of A. And I go, no, 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 no. I gave those assholes plenty of money. I need to see that a, a U of A should be rooting for me. All right. That's what I argue. I give them all that fucking money. They should be on the on the fucking sides of the road as I'm driving to work with just go Eddie signs everywhere. I should shoot not. U of A should be rooting for me with all that money I fucking paid those assholes. All right. <laughs> um, 
That was funny though. Now that I think about it too, because I've said it before. Um, I was talking to one of my friends who, uh, one of the kids I train with at, at CrossFit. Um, you know, and he was talking. He's about to make his choice of colleges and all that. He's like, "Where should I go? What do you think?" And all this shit. And I go, oh, "Okay, look, man. Um, go where there's a program for what you want to do. That's going to be one of the top programs in the country. Because if you actually want to do that job, that's a better. That's the best way to get in. When they see where you're from, the alumni that go there and everything. If Rhonda leaves and we forget about women, uh, WMA, all her work was for nothing." If she, um, no, no, history is always going to be there. Um, especially with a champ like Holly, but again, Holly's not going to be there long either. So you, you, you're you hoping for some a high level fighter, female fighter to sh- to come up the Bantamweight as well. And, uh, and not, maybe not be as great as Ronda, but at least make the argument. For example, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Michael Jordan retires, Kobe Bryant takes over. And the argument is there for years. Is Kobe Bryant better than Michael Jordan? Is Kobe Bryant every single year they talk about that shit. Not Kobe Bryant retiring. Who's up next? LeBron James. So, it, it'll be alive. It just, it just, you're just hoping for that fighter to show up. Paige and Rose look great at the weigh-ins. They did. They look good. Uh, solid. Rose looked like she put on some muscle, which is cool. Um, but back to the college thing. I was telling them, uh, go somewhere where your program, where you, where you, what you want to do is, is that, right? And, uh, and, uh, and, then I, and then he said, well, I don't know. What I, what, I asked him, what do you want to do? And he, he, um, he said something about journalism. And I go, ah, think about that for a second. If it is forgot, yeah, no, no, you're not gonna forget anything about Ronda Rousey, no way. Um, um, no, but I mean, I mean, I, I not forget about Ronda Rousey. I just don't want to talk about it for a while. I want, I want her to go away, get her shit together, and then come back as a force, and then we could talk about her all day. Um, but I told this kid, I said, you know, he, he goes, well, I could be a, maybe I'm going to be a surgeon and make a lot of money. And I go, look, man, do what you, whatever you want to actually do. Um, if you're all about money, do something that's going to make you some money, you know what I mean? But just make, keep in mind, you're going to be here for the next four plus years, or you're going to be at that school for the next four plus years trying to figure out what the fuck you want to do. And it reminded me of my story. I went to school, and I had a choice. I mean, my choices for me that I made myself were um, going to either med school or going to journalism. Uh, if I went to med school, I'd want to kill myself for seven, you know, seven, eight plus years of fucking school. If I went to journalism, four years of something I love doing, I already enjoy, I did for free anyway, um, that I fucking spent hours doing and enjoyed every second of it, and then um, you know, and probably, but and, and enjoyed my four years of college. But it doesn't make that much money. In fact, it doesn't make any money. So you know, I said, ah, I know how to work. I can go get into. I, I can start a business, get another job, and just you know, do the journalism thing. That's kind of what I chose. Whether it was smart or not, uh, doesn't really matter. Um, I could be a fucking doctor right now, but I, I would have hated school and I probably hate my job. So um, this wasn't for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, dude, pay, uh, Rose looks like she put on some muscle, and uh, I'm excited to see that. And no one's going to forget Ronda Rousey, you know, completely. The story's going to come up, but I, just, I, I think my point being that I just don't want her to be a story all the time right now. She takes a shit, and Raimondi's on top of it, taking pictures. Not even taking pictures. Taking screen caps of someone that took a picture of it. Do what you love. Fuck the rest. 100%, Sean. Um, 100%, man. I'm with you. Uh, yeah, so... I've been, you know what, what I've been interested about lately is I want to do sports radio, like, like local sports radio, you know, but it, uh, from what I know, and I know, I, I don't know many people in the industry anymore, I used to know a lot of people, I should have taken advantage of that, gotten in there early, but, uh, um, but what I know of it, it's a lot of petty shit, man, there's a lot of politics and a lot of, rank, you know, pulling rank and shit, and it's a really nasty business, if, you know, but if you get in, at least you're doing what you enjoy, but you still got to deal with assholes all day, and, um, I don't know. I got something to think about. I might just, uh, I might start off my my uh, my battle, my fear of failure, by shooting at that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? All right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say this to you guys because I like you guys. Here's my plan. Starting now because I don't like to do this whole. I'm gonna start in New Year's. We're gonna start in 2016. No, I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna start putting my shit together, working on my game, uh, practicing. <laughs> Uh, you know, sports radio stuff, which is what kind of what I'm doing now. I'll start Monday. All right, Jay, do your thing, man. Uh, my point is these chicks need to realize what and how Ronda did what she did. 100%, dude. Uh, the, respect's, the respect's there, and it's got to be there, and they got to kind of emulate her. They want to be as big as her, but, <laughs> ah, Jay, look at you. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get into sports radio. I'm, making, I'm literally making this decision live on Periscope right now. I'm deciding right now. Uh, I, was t- I think I was telling uh, I tweeted it out the other day, and Andy responded. Um, I have this weird fear of failure because I don't, to me, if I fail at something, it's, um, it's, uh, almost like a waste of time, right? And so what I need, you know, what I'm going to do 
And I'm telling you guys live, literally, I just made a decision right now. I, I'm fuck it. I'm throwing all shit to the wind. I'm going to shoot for everything I want to do. Starting with, I want to work in sports radio. Whether it's small or big, it doesn't matter. But I just want to get my foot in there and get in there and start working. So, I'm going to start working on my shit. I'm going to get together uh, 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 what they call an air check. Which is how they want to hear how your voice sounds on air. And if you can pronounce words and shit. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Do it. You'll be awesome. I appreciate that, man. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to start to, I'm, I'm starting today. I'm going to work on it today. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. Thanks, Andy, for sure. I'm going to do it. And uh, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to keep doing this shit for fun because I like you guys and I love doing this shit. So anyway, I got to go. Someone's about to try and get a key from me. So you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, thanks for the kind words and the encouragement, fellas. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Sean, Mike, Andy, uh, Jay, everybody. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Uh, Sean, Mike, Jay. Uh, Andy, have a good one, man. Everyone, all you guys have a wonderful day. It's Thursday. Make it worth your time. We're one day closer to death. So make it count. See you guys.